Hello dear students in this session we will study about the non contact forces the non contact forces are the forces which are applicable from a distance means the two objects are not in physical contact with each other so its definition becomes a non contact force is a force that one object exerts on another when they are not touching means they are not colliding they are not in contact with each other so without touching these forces are acting so they are of three kind first is the gravitational force the second is the electric force and the third is the magnetic force so all these three kind of force are the non contact forces now here you can see there is earth surface on that earth surface there is a tree with apple that apple will fall down towards the earth surface because of gravitational force so we will study here about the gravitational force so one word it defines the gravitational force it is attractive force it is never repulsive force it is always attractive in nature for example it is acting from the surface of the earth so every object will fall towards it it will never repel that okay so it is always the attractive force so the definition becomes the attractive force between the two objects that have mass is called gravitational force so every object which is having some mass it will be attracting towards the surface of the earth means there will be a pulling force from the surface of the earth and this object will fall on that surface so that object has some mass it has to be capturing some mass inside okay then only it is possible if we are talking about any massless object for example light photon we can say photon is a massless particle so light is not attracted like that because it is massless in nature so this pan is there another object is there if i am leaving those it will fall towards the surface of the earth so it is the attractive force between the masses we can say so it is never repulsive so we have to remember this one more point is there the gravity is acting on us all the time without being aware of it i am not aware that gravity is acting on us okay it is the weakest force in nature but it is the longest range force also why it is weakest force because that force is acting on us and all the objects around us but i can do the things with that i can do my work i can uh, climb the roof i can walk i can run right so every force is you can say greater than the gravitational force so that is the weakest force in nature so without being aware the gravity is acting on us all the time for example if we open a tap the water begins to flow towards the ground we can say the rainfall is toward downwards okay even i can say the water in the rivers the waterfalls all these things are towards the surface of the earth only because the gravity is acting on that all the time so the force of gravity on an object is called body weight so we can say the body weight is mass into gravity all the objects are having some mass and when it is under the influence of gravity it becomes the body weight so i have got some mass because of gravity i have got weight so the weight definition is the force of gravity on an object is called weight and weight is nothing but the force of gravity so the unit for weight will be newton only so at earth surface the gravity exerts the force of 9.8 newton on every kilogram of mass so if there is 1 kg mass then gravity will act how much 9.8 okay a 9.8 newton force will be applicable on that object because for example this is 1 kg and this is 9.8 meter per second square the acceleration due to gravity is value so it will be 9.8 newton so that weight will be that force you can say the force of gravity is the body weight itself now w is equals to mg this is mass into gravity and the gravity value is 9.8 meter per second square we will say it is acceleration due to gravity but sometimes we take its value as 10 meter per second square for simplified answer and calculations right so it will not make a major difference it is 0.8 and this is 10 so this 0.2 difference is applicable there so not much difference okay next point is f equal to 1 kg into 9.8 meter per second square so this force is basically the body weight itself so we can say the body weight and the force are one and the same thing okay this is for the force of gravity that is the body weight of an object so the gravitational unit of force is kilogram force we can say the unit of it is kgf so 1 kgf is 9.8 newton okay 1 kgf is 
9.8 newton so 1 kg f is the kilogram force it is the force exerted by 1 kilogram mass when it is kept in the gravitational field of the magnitude 9.8 meter per second square so if this is the mass m m value is 1 kg force of gravity is acting in on it right so we will say that it is equal to 1 kg f okay it is equal to 1 kg of force force means the force of gravity or acceleration due to gravity is acting on it now when we are using the words like mass and weight are they same are they equal are their units equal so answer is no they are not same or they are not equal it is just the confusion between the weight and the mass when the people are in conversation so sometimes we say 5 kg weight so it is basically or you can say technically wrong so we are studying physics here so we should know the difference here so for mass the mass is the amount of matter which is contained in the object and it is measured in kilograms so for example this is the object these are the particles which are used in its composition okay so its unit is kg so amount of matter which is contained in the object this is called the mass but when we are talking about the weight this is the mass and the force of gravity is acting on it so the weight is a force that depends on mass and gravity so it is basically mass into gravity itself so force is or you can say weight is the mass into gravity okay and its unit is newton why the unit is in newton because the force and the body weight are one and the same thing here one more difference is there the mass is a scalar quantity and when we are talking with about scalar quantity so scalar quantities are the quantities which are having the magnitudes but no directions but here we will say the direction is towards the center of the earth or it is always downward this is a vector quantity okay so weight is a vector quantity mass is a scalar quantity vector quantity means the quantity which are having the magnitude as well as direction but this don't have any direction 1 kg no direction but when we are saying 5 newton it is towards the center of the earth you can say or towards the downward direction now when a person is standing on the surface of the earth for example his weight is 600 newton but when the same person he is trying to measure his weight on the surface of the moon it is coming out to be 100 newton so why there is the difference in the weight of the person that person is same just he is standing on the surface and he is trying to stand on the surface of the moon the weight is coming out to be different here it is 600 there it is 100 it is because the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth is different and on the moon is different so we can say the acceleration due to gravity on the moon surface I'm denoting by G M M for moon is 1 by 6 times the acceleration due to gravity on the earth surface so G A for earth G M for moon so that is why we can say the weight on the moon of that person is by 6 times the weight on the earth surface so the formula is mass into gravity so this is the standard formula one more thing when we are talking about mass it is basically constant or you can say it is same whether the object is on the moon surface or on the earth surface so this will not create a difference this will create a difference the value of g so that is why the weight is coming out to be different now let's talk about the electrostatic force the term electro means charge so I can write it here electro means charge okay so the force between the charges we will say so the definition will become the force exerted by the charge body on another charge body or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force so on charge body or uncharged uncharged means neutral okay for example I am rubbing a balloon on my dry hair it is becoming negatively charged I am taking some bits of paper and trying to take it near it 
okay i'm bringing it near so it will attract so this is basically neutral it is attracting again if i am trying to rub the balloon okay or you can say two balloons at the same time it will become negative negative it will start repelling so charge objects they are also having some force between them and charge and uncharged object they are always having the force of attraction between them okay so we will say the electric force between two charges can be attractive or it can be repulsive it is based on the polarity it is positive or negative so for that thing we will take the example as the same charge or like charge we are keeping them together so we will see that when we are keeping them together they will repel each other so this is basically the repulsion force they are going away from each other but if i am changing the case and i am bringing near or the place uh, at i am putting it is not so much far away okay so they are somehow near to each other and they are oppositely charged so we will see that they are attracting each other they are coming towards each other so we will conclude the like charges repel and unlike charges they will attract each other now the third kind of force we have to study is the magnetic force the force between the magnets so when the magnet is clicking in our mind it is north pole and south pole basically okay so the definition is also related the force exerted by the magnet on a piece of iron or on another magnet is called magnetic force when we are saying piece of iron this is basically a magnetic material so i am writing magnetic material okay so all the magnetic materials are attracted towards the magnet okay whether it is the north pole or the south pole but when we are talking both are magnets then the poles they have their roles okay they will make some attraction or repulsion based on what type of poles we are bringing near so this is called magnetic force and the like or the similar poles they repel each other while the unlike or opposite poles they will attract each other take this case two bar magnets this is north pole and this is south pole what will happen when i am leaving them they will attract each other but what if i am turning this magnet so it will become south pole and south pole now they will repel each other okay the repulsion force can be seen when we are bringing near the like poles so we will conclude that the like poles they repel each other and unlike poles they will attract each other now let's discuss some questions based on the topics which we have studied in this session which is an example of non contact force so elastic force no because we have to stress that applied force no the normal force so all these are a contact force for non contact electric force because electric force is the force between the charges okay the positive negative one so it is the non contact force here coming to next question what keeps the planet in orbit around the sun so what keeps the planet in orbit around the sun it is gravity friction density or distance so of course it is gravitational force because when we are talking about the sun the gravity of the sun it is pulling all the planets towards it okay so they are revolving around due to the gravity of the sun only now coming to next question the type of force acting when a rocket is fired upward launch a satellite in its orbit is it is the type of force so magnetic force no it is not possible gravitational force yes gravitational force is acting at the time when we are leaving the rocket or we firing up the rocket in the sky to launch the satellite electrostatic no no charges are applicable here and either two or three can't be the correct option now coming to next question it is electrostatic force is a force of attraction between the objects that are magnetic in nature so electrostatic means charges so magnetic no connected by rope this is just a contact force oppositely charged yes charges okay so oppositely charged because opposite charges are having the attraction between them and falling downward is also not the correct option so oppositely charged is the correct option according to the question which is given now coming to next question the gravitational force is always we have studied this about okay in this lecture itself so it is attractive in nature it is never repulsive can be attractive or repulsive no and zero at the surface of earth no zero at the center of the earth it is maximum at the surface of the earth so only option 1 is correct according to the situation which is given now you have to do the questions which are given in your material 
about the topic which we have studied in this session. I hope everything is clear to you. Thank you.